Hi guys, I wanted to show you this package. L look at this. <laughs> so, the story behind this is this was the original package that Pen Heaven sent me months ago. I think it was like September. And it was lost for the longest time. Um, so, what's it called? Um, it had the wrong address so like my city and my address they thought it was the country so it literally was circling around europe for the longest time and then um i was talking to the pr or the yeah the pr and she was like okay we'll just send you a whole new one because we don't know what's happening with this one so yeah and today it came like like this i mean i opened it already but like it came like this look how <laughs> oh but i looked and everything is okay um it looks like they sent me the same um what's it called the same fountain pen inks which is from dye mine and it's pink lits and cool green so that will be like a giveaway i suppose um because i, I don't need two bottles and then this is the pen that was originally you know going to be sent to me this this is the pilot pilot decimo in pink and i think it's a fine nib so i'm like whoa i mean it's in good looks like it's okay yeah capless decimo pink champagne fine tip and i mean the package yeah it was like all mangled but it looks like it's okay i just want to take a peek i'm probably gonna do a whole video on this or like a review but yeah i didn't expect this whatsoever because like i said it was like gone for the longest time but thank you so much pen heaven i will link it for you guys below but wow this packaging is amazing it's plastic it had a sleeve here's the pen you know it just sits in there like that like this is a good wow it's so nice so you get the pen i don't know what else comes with this i don't know what this is so uh it looks like there's a cartridge which is nice i don't know if i'm gonna need a converter or or not but yeah it comes with that wow such good packaging oh my gosh i can't wait to try this out it's actually a good size a lot of people were saying it's really small but it looks like it's a good size and that champagne color is very pretty so anyways like i said i'm probably gonna most likely i will do a whole like proper video for this because i really want you guys to see it um, maybe I'll use it and then do just do a review. But thank you, Pen Heaven. This is uh, quite a surprise. It's a very nice surprise. This is still on my wish list. So, yeah. I'm, what? I'm just shocked right now. So that's pretty awesome that came in today. Anyways, today I don't feel good. I'm actually... Um... Uh, I don't know. Like, I feel fine. It's just I have cramps. It's really bad. Um, so I don't even want to get up. I just want to sit here. Um, anyways, I'm waiting on Tom. He is, um, at Target right now. He's picking stuff up for me. And hopefully he gets dinner as well. Um, but yeah. I don't want to cook today even though I have, I was going to cook something but I don't feel like it. I will be baking later today because we have things to do tomorrow. Um, so yeah. Anyways, I'm just here. I'm working on the new collection for my shop. So I finished all of the the stickers. There's um, six sheets in here. Like six different sheets. I think my favorite is this one. Because I love sticker borders. I just think they're so fun. And then I love like florals like that and this one has snowflakes perfect for you know the coming up season and then i ended up making this this is going to be really hard to see but these are actually stamps so like the shape of it you can't see because it's just white um 
it's actually like the stamp edging and it's just so pretty i am very happy with how everything turned out with this collection so far um so i have again all of that i have the washi i took photos today i also made these for packaging for those who will buy a bundle it will be packaged beautifully this is like a little divider you can use and i made it so the design is small enough so if you have to trim it down you're not gonna lose a lot of the design if that makes sense and this paper is so cool this is actually watercolor paper i i don't know i just decided to go with this because i really love the feeling of it and it's not too thick like the cardstock that i would have used so i was like this is actually really nice and i had to hand cut them to size <laughs> so that took a while um anyways i am gonna be working on wax seals in a little bit i just kind of have to um, i'm updating the website right now to put it on maintenance mode so i can start adding the new products in without people seeing it and like buying right away you know so that's what i'm about to do right now um but then yeah right after this i will be working on wax seals i think yeah i'm gonna work on wax seals and then um i'm gonna design a few die cuts i want a little bit of like just a little kit of die cuts to go with this collection um i think that would be really fun to do with all like the florals and everything so anyways i feel like i blabbed enough in this little clip so i'll check in with you guys again later
Hi guys! So I made cupcakes for tonight. I have yet to decorate those. Um, but I just finished doing the charcuterie board. I wasn't really sure what I was making. Um, I just already had like crackers and grapes, salami, all that stuff. So let me show you what I have put together. So here it is. I just have some salami right there. Different kinds of cheeses. Liam actually picked out the cheeses. They're from Renard's Cheese. Um, this really good cheese. Super nice, not bitter or anything. I didn't try this one yet, but I probably will because I have some extras here. I ended up adding some of these apple chips. I might put a little bit over here. I don't know. Um, I feel like this area is, I don't know, so like lacking. I think I'm going to stack those and then put more chips here. We'll see. But yeah, I just have some crackers. They're wheat thins, some Ritz crackers, um, peanuts, like a peanut mix thing, grapes, of course, and salami. That's pretty much it. Like super easy charcuterie board. Just like trying to fill it all up. I'm gonna try this cheese because it does look very, very, very good. Oh, that's not bad. I like how it's so nice and soft and like creamy. Um, but yeah. I'm just waiting for the cupcakes to cool and to decorate that. I have this. This is the frosting I'm going to be using is just cream cheese. So yeah, I'll show you guys that when it's done. Ah, okay, done with the cupcakes. It's so simple. I feel like a little kid made this, but it's good enough because I know um, Tom doesn't really care and Lo Joey doesn't care either. So I'm like, I'm just going to make this. The original plan was to make a two layer cake. But I was like, ugh, I really don't have time and this is so much quicker. Like, I did this so quick. Like, I can't even tell you how easy it is to make cupcakes. Um, was thinking of maybe adding some sprinkles, but I'm just going to leave it at it as is because, like I said, the boys don't care. <laughs> so here it is. It says, happy birthday, little Joey and Tom. So little Joey's birthday was on the 8th and Tom's birthday is tomorrow, the 10th. So yeah. So it's going to be like that and then the sparkles or, or these are sparklers and then, yeah we'll have it on like a board so it'll be better. I just have it in this so I can like bring it to Joey and Anna's house easily without it sliding off the board but there you have it. And I think that's all I have to make that I'm bringing. I'm going to bring a bottle of wine of course and little joey's present can't forget about that and now i'm here in my office um i have on supernatural and these are the wax seals that i made last night i'm adding a little bit more to it though like so these colors i really love it it's like this i don't even know how to describe it i mix a different like different shades so i mix whites with some bronze some silver gray and like a like a golden color and you get like a variety of this and I really really love it and this is going to be for the new collection. I only made this many for now and um, yeah I will be making more obviously. Um, I usually make them like made to order because I don't want to make too many you know what I mean um, and just have it sitting around but anyways I am here. These are all done as you can see they have silver detailing on them. And to get that, I use this. So I go by hand and I just do that. So these will be sold on the website. And then these are like little freebies that will come with the bundles. You don't have to pay for these. I just wanted to make something extra um, for those who purchase the bundles. You know, it makes it a little bit more special. So these are just these really cute flowers that goes with the whole theme really cute little flowers and they're gonna be all like adhesive i think <laughs> and then this is just um my shop's logo and it's just gonna be for the packaging overall for the bundles so yeah i'm really excited i really love how these turned out it's like cute little stamps 
And I think doing the silver detailing makes the design pop out a lot more. Like, I love it so much. So, yeah, that's what I'm going to be up to um, for now. I just want to finish this. And I'm going to film a few, like, reels um, to showcase the wax seals. Sunday. I don't know when the last time I talked to you at was I think it was Friday night. Um, but Sunday I got a package, it's super tiny package from um Travelers Company. I always want to say just Travelers Love, but it's Travelers Company. It arrived yesterday and I mainly made the order because they had these in stock i have been wanting these for forever and i'm glad i didn't purchase it off of a reseller because they're usually like so expensive like double or three three times the price so yeah i think they're 18 dollars on the travelers company website so i'll link it below but i ordered two one will be for a giveaway one will be for me of course so Aren't they so cute? So I have the leather versions of this. And I think they have the leather versions on the site too, which is awesome. And then along with that, I finally got myself this guy. This is their binder. So it's a refill binder. So you, I plan on just putting my finished um, passport refills into this, kind of like to archive them. So that's what that is. I think this was around, I want to say... $16? I'm not quite sure. And then I just got these guys. I really like the short trip refills. So I got passport a regular size. So that's it. I also got this sticker for free. I thought it would be bigger, but it's <laughs> it's small as you can see. But super cute. I'm excited. So that's that. Um, yeah, I think... I'm going to end this vlog. I don't know what else to do. I have been filming all day, kind of. I'm doing like a memory keep with me. You guys really enjoyed my last one. So I was like, oh, I need to catch up on my memory keeper journal. So I was, I've been filming it since yesterday. I'm going to film a little bit more later today once we get home. But yeah, that's it for this video. I hope you enjoyed it. A little bit of everything. Um, I'm going to try to do more daily vlogs like this. Let me know in the comments if you like it. Um, definitely going to be really busy the next few weeks. So there might be a studio vlog if that's something you would like to see. Just me working on the sticker shop. I have to do orders. Um, I have sales coming up new products and everything so definitely some studio vlogs coming up but yeah that's it thank you guys so much for watching um i'll see you in my next one bye